Hello everyone, Reverend High School Pre-Calculus presents Weight Watchers, the Ultimate Dieters Manual to keep your weight in check by using sum and difference formulas to find degrees in a circle. Big Bertha has just joined the RHS Weight Club and hopes to take control over her slightly overweight body. In addition to exercise, a healthy diet is also part of the curriculum. While attending a friend's birthday party, Big Bertha spots a large two-foot diameter untouched cheesecake. Her diet allows her to only eat a certain amount of the cake that is decided by none other than trigonometry. Since this particular friend of Big Bertha happens to be a math enthusiast, the cake came pre-labeled with a unit circle. However, the slice Big Bertha is allotted does not neatly fall on the 30 degree or 45 degree mark. She can only have a 105 degree slice which is not labeled on the, on the cake. How can we find out where 105 degree slice is? By using the sum and difference formulas, of course. We can start off by saying what two degree markers make up 105, as it is not given directly. There is more than one way to do this, but we will choose 150 degrees minus 45 degrees. There are two steps to this problem, to find cosine and sine of these degrees. First, let's find cosine. The formula to find cosine is cosine A cosine B plus sine A sine B. Let's plug in our known values. A can be 150 or 45, it doesn't matter. Now our equation will look like this. Cosine of 150 minus 45 equals cosine 150 times cosine 45 plus sine of 150 times sine of 45. Using your highly developed unit circle memorization skills, you know that the cosine and sine at 150 degrees is negative root 3 over 2 and 1 over 2. You also know that sine and cosine at 45 degrees is root 2 over 2 and root 2 over 2. Now after replacing the cosine and sines with their corresponding values, we get negative root 3 over 2 times root 2 over 2 plus 1 over 2 times root 2 over 2. Solving that, we get negative root 6 plus root 2 all over 4, which is approximately negative 0.26. Now to find sine. Finding sine is a similar process. The only thing that changes is the formula we use. The time we, this time, we will use sine A minus B equaling sine A cosine B minus cosine A sine B. Plugging into our known terms, we get sine of 150 times cosine of 45 minus cosine of 150 times sine of 45. Replacing the sine and cosine terms, we get 1 half times square root 2 over 2 minus negative square root 3 over 2 times square root 2 over 2. This simplifies to square root 2 over 4 plus square root 6 over 4, which is about equal to 0.97. Now that we know sine and cosine, we can find out how big to cut big versus slice. Knowing that the, che the cheesecake is 2 feet in diameter and labels with the unit circle, we can draw an x-axis connecting from pi to 2 pi, and the y-axis by connecting pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2. And having our graph pinpoint negative 0.26 comma 0.97, this is where the 105 degree mark is. Having successfully cut out the correct portion of the cake, Big Bertha can eat it knowing that she is still on her diet. In the end, it was, it was like a piece of cake. Yeah.